Hey guys, this is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. <laughs> um, by the way, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave your comment here. You know we always talking about relationships. Um, so I have this gentleman here. What's your name? Latif. Latif. Now that's a nice name. <laughs> He's a Rico Suave. I could tell. Anywho, um, so I'm passing by and I just want to have an honest conversation because us ladies need to understand men, right? You guys know they do have feelings. They do cry. I always tell you guys, right? Men do have feelings. They are not all wholehearted. Okay. So now, <laughs> uh, what's the dilly? Okay, so what are you doing out here, first of all? What am I doing? I'm passing through. I'm coming from my daughter's house heading to Brooklyn. Oh, you're heading to Brooklyn? Yes, I am. Wow. Are you taking a, oh, you riding your bike yes, to am. Brooklyn? Yes, I am. Oh, on my goodness. Daily basis, I do it. R you live in Brooklyn? No, I stay up here in um, 125th and Lexington. Oh, by the way, guys, he has this bike. I'm not going to show him, but... <laughs> you know I want to ride. <laughs> That's what I always wanted, but I don't find somebody safe to ride with. Yeah, because you know they ride very reckless. Anywho, uh, we're going to get into some relationship questions. So Latif, you're a man of a certain age, right? Uh, you said when you was younger, you was like out here in these streets. Yes, I Talk was. a little bit about that. Let's build up. Okay, cool. When I was younger, in my like 20s, 30s, all the way into my 40s, I was what you call a Mac Daddy. Ooh, a Rolling Stone. Okay. Daddy was a Rolling Stone. I have 12 kids. Have... <laughs> <laughs> Let me go on. Ooh, now, sorry. you want to hear the story? You want to hear well, the story? Go ahead. Now, oh, my God. Shoot. Yes, give it to me. Okay, now, you want me to start? No, no, no. Oh, I want you to give it to me okay. straight. Here we go. I have five different baby mamas. Okay. You know, I had drama, um, baby mama drama when I was in my 30s. And after that, you know, I still, you know, spread my wings or whatever, went around. And, you know, then time came where I felt like I'm getting older and I need to act my age. Okay. Like stop, you know, running around like I'm alone. Wow. You know? What, what sparked that? What sparked that? It was so suddenly is because I tried to get into a relationship. I got into a relationship from 1995 all the way to 2005. Okay. And I gave it my own. You know, I took care of this woman. I come into her house. She didn't have anything. I dressed it up from, she had two floors. I dressed it up from the first, from the first floor to the second floor. Even cleaned out the basement. She was just written this, you know, first and second part. Okay. So I did the best I could for her. And she had a child at the time, one child. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I, I hooked her up and everything. And after all those many years of me dealing with her, doing the best I can for her, she just up and left me for another man. Wow, hold on, hold that thought. This is very, very interesting. So, ha were you ever married or you were just playing? I was married to that woman. You were married to that woman? Married. And then she sent, she sent me a letter to my mother's house saying, I want a divorce it's because you made babies on me. You know, while oh, you did? Yes, you I did. Okay, okay. okay. How many babies did you make on her? Two. Two. And why did you decide? Okay, you were in a marriage. Why did you decide to do that? It's because the young lady who I made the babies by, I've been knowing her a long time and we've been... You know, off and on friends, so just one day we just got together and just started smoking weed. And, um, you know, one thing led to another, and we was feeling each other. So we clicked. We always clicked. Wow. But we clicked from that day forward, even to this day. Okay, so, but well, let me ask. This was in 99. I really just, this, this, this is, this is a great story. Because, you know, guys, um, uh, do, do have, like, monkey branching and relationship. So I really need to understand... Uh, from a man's uh, perspective, what I want to ask you, Latif, um, you were married, right? And yes, you went out on your yes, marriage. Yes, why, why didn't you protect yourself? Well, at, like I said, this young lady, I've been knowing her for many years before we got into the relationship. I knew what type of lady she was, and I knew she wasn't running around. Like but that. you were committed. You didn't care about having a baby on your wife? I'm just asking. Well, about this young lady, no. It's because I always liked her. She always liked me. We just <sighs> never hooked up until then. Wow. So we talk about it, we talk about it to this day. We are friends now. She's in North Carolina, and um, she wanted me to move down. My kids are grown by her now. My youngest son is 20, 21 years old by her. You know I gotta ask him the question, ladies. Okay, so you cheated on your wife yes. with this lady, right? What first? What was so special about her? And after you cheated on your wife with this lady, why didn't you marry her? Or stay with her? Why well, didn't I didn't understand the question? You cheated on your wife with this young lady. Obviously, you felt like the risk was worth it, right? Why didn't you get uh, um, either married to this lady or live with this lady? It's because at that time, like I said, I was running around cheating. I was using protection with any other woman. But with these two, I wasn't. 
So this one who had the, 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 the two boys by me, in fact, I was on the Murray show, you know, by me. You what? Yes, <laughs> but, uh, you are not the, were you, you the father? The father. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Okay. okay. So, you know, as, oh, I'm, as I'm running around doing my thing, you know, it's like she, one woman was, it's like I wasn't attractive to her or appealing to her. Who's that, the wife? No, this is the, yes, this is the wife. You weren't attracted to yes, the wife? Yes, it seemed like it was, it was more of a beneficial thing. Where, Interesting. You know, she always accept, 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 you know, but she never put out. I did that throughout the whole relationship. Okay. So, um, oh, she, your wife was a taker. Right. Okay. So now with the girlfriend, I goes over to her, you know, and you know she's she she's fifty fifty, you know she want to go whatever whatever I want to do she want to match. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So that kind of like drew me more to her. So when she got pregnant the first time, she called my wife up and said, you know, I'm having a child by your son, by your own wife, by your husband. I'm sorry. That was foul, don't you think? Yes, it was kind of foul, but it was good, you know. Now, Why was it good? Because she being honest, she wanted the, 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 the man of her child, family, also wife or whoever, to let it be known that there's another member coming into the family. Hold on. Hold on. So now what I want to ask you is, wh wh what about the respect, the respect and the covenant with your wife? Do okay. you not think about that? No, it's because my wife, like I said, she was always, I got tired of Giving, giving so why didn't you tell her that? I talked to her about it, but she still wanted more. She wouldn't stop. Okay. To this day, if I had a dinner with her today, it's a brand new bike. It's giving me problems or whatever right now. But anyway, it's still a brand new bike. I had it like three, what, three months now. I wouldn't be able to have this. It's because all the money that I paid for this would be, I would be investing to her. Okay. Either the things that I would like to do for my heart or the things that she asked for. I think you feel like you gave too much to your of wife. Course. And even though whatever I was giving, I was sharing a little bit on the other end too. And that was the, the less I was giving on the other end was more appreciated than what I was giving. On, you understand what I'm saying? So, yes, I do. Because it happened to me. <laughs> so, what I want to ask you is if this young lady was worth so much, why didn't you guys end up together? We did. We stayed together it's because each time she got pregnant, she called my wife up and told my wife she was pregnant. Why did you allow her to do that to your wife? It's because I liked her. I liked her a lot. Wow. I was willing, to, I was willing if, the, if the relationship between me and my wife had to come to an end for her, I was willing to take that risk. Okay, sure. But why didn't you just uh, sit down as a man, the leader, uh -huh. and just uh, have an honest conversation with your wife just out of respect? Okay, we did That's that. all I'm asking. We did that. That's how we wound up on the Maury show is because... She was saying the child was mine. Who, your saying, wife? No. The la next lady? Yes. She was saying it was mine. I was saying it was mine too. My wife said they're not. Okay. So, you know, she wanted to take the, uh, the, the DNA test. So we go to Kings County Hospital. They wanted, because we show, um, she didn't have um, medical uh, coverage. So they wanted to charge her $1,000. Okay. For the, DNA uh, test. Yeah, DNA test. So we decided to call Mary up. <laughs> Guys, this is like so great. So we got in touch with the secretary of Mary and we explained to her to her yeah, about the situation. They asked, can they have the number to the kids' mother? I gave them the number and they called her up and asked her, did she want to be on the show? But, you know, she agreed and I agreed and that's how we was on there. He's and very brave. While we was on there, right, you know, and she's like, well, you know, you should have let it be known that you, you don't have to come bring me up on the TV, national TV, to embarrass me to prove to me that these okay, kids, prove anybody wow. they're your kids. You know what I'm saying? I know they're yours, you know they're yours, I should be up here. You know, it's this bitch. Your, your wife allow, uh, asked you to do that? Yes. So now, excuse my language, but the girlfriend, she's like, well, this bitch allowed you to bring me up here to embarrass me. Why did you allow her to call your wife a bitch? To okay. speak to her like that? Again. As long as they don't get physical, they can say what they want. To That's do. horrible. You yeah. were in the middle of all okay. that. Okay, not only that, with my- You family, like that drama. No, I didn't like that drama then, but it was part of drama that everybody was like, oh, he's the man, he got you know, this and that. Yeah, I know you love so that. I don't like that. Well. <laughs> but you liked that that time. Yeah. A lot of men that do stuff like that, they love it. They love the chaos of two females fighting. But what, why, was that the, why was that the high, you know, for at that time? Why did that make you feel special? And do you understand why you did that now? Yes, I do. And I didn't feel special then. I just did it out of ignorance. 
Exactly. And what was the lesson learned? Because people need to know. You guys need to know. It's definitely a lesson behind this. Did you find out why you treated your wife like that? And did you find the lessons? Tell, tell us. Okay, the reason why I treated her the way, she, the way I did is because there was no sincere love there. It was a petty thing. <coughs> I'm not a petty type person. She would pick me up, pay her socks, she would make a nigga issue out of her. I leave a pair of drawers in the bathroom, she'd make a you know. But yet, the same token, after she uses her dominant voice and aggressive ways, you know, like she could beat me, okay. she still calm down and then turn around and act like something. Was there any something. violence involved? No, there was never no violence. There was never no domestic violence involved? Uh, step off a minute? Step, step off? Yeah, I mean, step up. Okay, hold on, guys. We have a little minor uh, incident <laughs> going on. What's going on? Anyway, so yeah, it's going. <laughs> I hope you guys are liking the conversation. I think I was getting too hot for him. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> anyway, I love it. <laughs> Guys, you know, we're talking to the young men. Um, we have a mentor for the young men, so this is what it's all about. I'm going to be talking to more and more men about their experiences. <laughs> um, so, so you want to lay it right here? Okay. So he's having a, we'll talk a little bit because he's having a little technical uh, difficulty. So guys, I'm getting ready to ask him about, um, do he know why the whole... Uh, reason why he cheated on this young lady, but now his brakes just came off. So, so can you drive that thing with the brakes off like that? That's not a brake, that's a kickstand. Oh, okay. And that's why even when you say, can you lean it up against me, I was like, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Oh, okay. So do you know how to fix that thing? No, I'm going to take it back. I just had it fixed yesterday. Oh. So I'm going to take it back there as soon as I make So what, you're not a manly man that know how to fix that? Of course I know how to fix that. <laughs> well, I should I? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he, oh, he brought me all the way together. <laughs> Do you want me to move so you can lay it here? Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. I just had it done. For people like you that are, you see, he looking at my toes. We getting ready to ask him what, what's, what's the end result? Cause he was, you know, this happens to a lot of player in life. It happens to a lot of player in life. Let's hope that you think stay. it's okay? Let's hope it's stay until I, uh, it's not. That's okay. You're gonna go sit right there so they uh, can hear you. I need them to hear you. Yeah, just gotta take it back and let them put this back. How far you gotta go to Harlem? No, right there at the third and. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I know that place. Some Spanish people, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably try to catch them before the closes are already five, almost five o'clock. I don't mean to run. So, and hold on, hold on, hold on. So, real quickly. So, you was a player, right? You yes. cheated everything. Yes. I can't. I'm so sorry, guys, that this is getting ready to end. But the question I want to ask you is now, you're single or you're married now? I'm single now. Okay. Um, single man, been a single, lonely man for the last couple of years. You're lonely. The years that after me being lonely, I was saying to myself over and over again, the next woman I get, I don't really know how to treat her. I'll be good to find treat her like that. Queen that would you cheat on her? No, I wouldn't cheat on her. Why? Because you're older? Yes. I'm more mature and then I'll be, I'll be in love with her. My heart has a lot of love to give, but I have no one to give it to. I think that's your punishment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, no, seriously, thank yeah. you for the interview. Uh, any advice for young guys uh, in the situation you might be? Well, all you young guys out there, the only thing I can say to y'all, bro, listen, get it together. Get it together, and, that, and that's especially real. for your baby mama. Because you mama. end up. So, are you friends with any of your baby yes, mamas? All of them. We all of them. It's five of them. We still friends. That young lady that you thought was worth cheating on, uh, you guys still fool we around? Still stay in touch till this day. She called me almost on a daily basis from Charlotte, North Carolina. She's with somebody else now. Yes. I think she broke up your marriage just because it was a thrill. Well, she didn't break up the marriage. The woman herself broke the marriage up. No one else had anything Ooh, to do with it. Oh, he's defending that lady there, honey. <laughs> yeah, that should have been his wife, honey. Yes, I say so to this day, and she say so too, but things, things happen. happen. Things happen. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Hopefully, right. I'll see you again, all right? Okay, take care. Oh, oh, I have to give you my YouTube channel. Okay, yeah. Um, Just remember this. Ro you could Google me. Rosa's Resources. 
Rosa's uh -huh. resources. Yeah, You'll find me on YouTube. Oh man, <laughs> too bad. Well, hopefully, I <laughs> mean, that's okay. Well, I like honesty, so um, thank you so much for your time. Ride safe, okay? Everything is good. This is just a kickstand, so that when all you say, he's looking for an honest woman, honey. An honest woman. And not a cheater. The good heart. He's, he's looking for the heart now. So he's not looking for the outer anymore. He's looking for the heart. Yeah. Honey. That's what you should have been looking from from yes, day one. But you know, we we grow. We all grow. I really appreciate this video, guys. So uh, comment. Like and share, and remember, if you went through something like this, to leave it in your um, <laughs> in the comment as well. All right, thank you so much.